Who's ready for some more L's? Who's ready for some more L's? You get an L, you get an L, you get an L, you get a... Who's ready for more L's? You want more L's? Yeah, just, you know, give us more L's. We want more L's. Okay, here's some more L's. Boom, boom, boom. News courtesy of Hypebeast. Jound announces its New Balance 990 V3 made Olive collaboration is coming out soon. So if you couldn't get hold of any other pairs from the Jound and New Balance collection and you were eagerly scratching your arms like a flipping fiend, ready to get your next hit to try and disappoint yourself all over again, Jound are here to supply your needs. And they've got another pair, a olivey kind of green colorway that looks absolutely banging, but more likely than not, none of us will be able to purchase, unfortunately. Especially this outfit too with the gilet, um, you know, over the flipping the olive uh quilted gilet over the flipping white t shirt with some track pants on, you know, classic, classic sneakerhead looks, right? It looks really, really nice. But I just dread the amount of people that are gonna be trying to get these rings. Given the colour too, they're gonna be shoes that I think will appeal to a wide, wide, wide wide consumer base because mostly everyone can wear a pair of these shoes and make them work they're not really that kind of you know crazy compared to other collaborations that you see out there but down in general anyway do you do stuff a bit more um subdued and a little bit more uh plain in that regard so that's definitely going to be a thing and as per usual with every failed release it just adds more demand to the next release ask travis scott he will tell you do you know what I mean? That's what it does. It's a it's a kind of tried and tested method throughout the years um, to garner more kind of, you know, uh, bucks from the flipping sneakerheads. But, oh, they look so nice in it. As bitter as I can sound, they just, they're not denying, they look absolutely lovely, don't they? From the top there with their sort of off-white laces. They look really, really good. What's in the hill tab there? Same thing there? No, it doesn't say, oh, yeah, it says John, but just NB on there really really nicely done i have to be honest really nicely done yeah you know, the branding on the shoe isn't that crazy also they didn't go you know down flipping everywhere it's kind of done in a very artistic tasteful way the box is really nice too it looks like um is that in gold foil or gold fingers just like a print just like a print okay cool that would be nice if it did that, 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 that. It had like a white box with like a gold um new balance logo silver new balance logo in boston and whatnot but maybe not who knows but yeah let's read the article quickly it says as follows the montreal clothing based no the montreal based design agency and digital mood board has garnered imagine that be your occupation what do you get what, what do you get paid to do like gather images on the internet that are not mine and put them together in the mood board and have people pay me for my opinions and stuff that is life that is a life um it says the, 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 the cult following for crafting and minimal and versatile sneaker editions. It will be reunited with New Balance for yet another team up this month. After linking up with the Navy 990 V4s, it, uh, it's actually October 21. The entities have recorded, so reconvened to announce their latest giant collaboration. The installment is a follow up on the 990 V3 collab from 2018. And it departs from the neutral, heavier engine of the palette, more designed to with the jet, with the spring seasoning. Oh my, I'm messing up words so much. Sorry, we're just going through that again. Uh, John makes use of tonal and olive hues as a leading component, and it splashes it across with a breathable mesh and underlays and new buck overlays. Adjacent to this comes a stark black N logo on the side, along with a creamy laces and reflective panels atop a tongue and a rear, and John branded printed on the heels and the shoes uh, inserts for subtle flair. End cap midsoles are found in the lower half and come style with white cream and silver color blocking check out a detailed look at the pair above and note that these will be dropping on jound on february 24th 12 p.m edt and on march 3rd via select new balance retailers retail prices set at 250 dollars damn it but <coughs> again i don't have an issue with this i think they make fairly decent retros or whatever you might call it a v3 and 9904 um new balance i mean they're very well made the shape's pretty decent the material's always good so cool i paid 250 
I would do the same thing for Nike. If Nike made a Pata exclusive Air Max 1 and they used the best materials, they had the best shape going for the Air Max 1 in the retro. They actually went and re-engineered a flipping Air Max 1 or Air Max 87, wherever they got hold of. And they re-engineered it from the ground up, tore it to pieces and remade the tooling and said, hey, here you go. This is the Air Max um, flipping from Pata that we designed with Nike. And it's going to be priced at $300. I'd be there with my credit card out, ready to go. Happy to do it, but they don't. So, <coughs> you know, it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, they look flipping brilliant. I like them. They look banging. The shoot looks obviously great too. They style the kid really well. They they have some. They have really good casting when it comes to Jound, um, doing their product pictures and whatnot. I like it, even though I don't like his little one toe thing that he did there on the toe. But it is what it is. Let him live. I really like what they've done in terms of styling. They do it really really bloody well no denying that at all no denying that whatsoever so yeah keep an eye out for those if you're that way inclined keep an eye out for those if you're that way inclined um, what else to talk about here what time is it so double check make sure i'm not going too overboard here cool Next, we have news courtesy of Hypebeast as well regarding the official look at Drake's Nocta Air Hot No Nike yeah, no Drake's Nocta and Nike Hot Step Air Max Terra or Hot Step Air Terra right? Hot Step Air Terra Black, and I like them. They might be even better than the white color actually, which obviously makes complete sense considering I'm such a whore for black trainers anyway. But in terms of an overall shape, in terms of their overall appeal, I did design. I quite like them. Not going to lie. Um, since debuting his Nocta line with Nike in December 2020, Drake has steadily been growing his catalogue with various batches of apparel. The time has finally come for the OVO artist to drop his toes in the footwear category and a Nocta Air Hot Step of Terror having been teased by the certified lower boy since 2021. The signature will be dropping the triple white and triple black as colorways. It's most, oh, sorry, its founder has always been just a shown, sorry, the, the the latter the latter of which just has been shown by an official imagery the minimal and dark arrangement of the kicks aligns seamlessly with the nonchalant okay it's gone too many words for a short shit what's the date we've got date march 3rd 180 dollars but yeah I'm, I'm a big fan of them i'm not going to lie I, I think they look really really good if anything the only problem i have with them is maybe the bulbous side on the side of it here there's a lot of extra material because obviously it's been sort of like quilted and whatnot it just looks a little bit bulbous here maybe it's me being picky that's the only thing i'd say that's kind of slightly annoying about it once you see you can't stop it like this bit here see it's just too much uh what else is happening here oh more pictures again of the hill what's the hill logo i think what's that say there that looks really that's a logo logo looks really nice okay but yeah i'm not too bad at them not i don't mind them not my favorite obviously but they will do. They will do. 